Hey Earth Campers, my name is Miss Amanda and today I'm going to teach y'all about storm drains. Our storm drains are different than our storm sewers here in Texas. When water enters a storm drain, it does not get filtered before continuing to accrete. Our sewer pipes are different. Our sewer pipes are where our used sink water, toilet water, shower water flow through and end up at a treatment plant. This water gets treated before it enters a body of water again. In a watershed, or on land, we have different types of surfaces. To my right, we can see lots of natural area. Trees, plants, soil. This is what we call pervious cover. Pervious cover makes it possible for rain to soak into the ground. The plants and soil work as a filter to remove some pollutants that may have been carried with the rainwater. To my left, we have what we call impervious cover. There's a hard sidewalk, a paved street. Impervious cover makes it impossible for the water to soak into the ground. Today I'm standing in the Blund Creek watershed and we're going to do an experiment to see what happens to pollution on the street when it rains. My materials for this experiment include a non-toxic dye that our hydrologists use to study the flow of water underground. This dye is not going to harm the environment when we use it for our experiment. I also have a tub full of water. This non-toxic dye is going to be the pollution in our experiment. Pollution is anything that is going to harm the natural environment. So let's think, what are some pollutants that might end up on our street or washing into our street? Let's say someone's car has a leak and there's now car oil on our street. If it rains hard enough, gravity is going to begin to pull the rainwater and the pollution downhill. All right, I need y'all to help me make it rain. Let's start snapping our fingers. The raindrops are falling. Let's start snapping faster. Faster. All right, now let's start stomping those feet. Stomp those feet. Stomp those feet. The thunder is here. Okay, let's start making our observations. The water is running off the land into the storm drain inlet. Because the storm drain is located right above Blunt Creek on a bridge, I can look over and see the dye again as it comes out into the creek. Because we can still see the green dye that was our pollution, we know that the water didn't get treated in the storm drain before flowing into Blunt Creek. In our experiment, the rainwater carried the pollution into the storm drain inlet. It traveled underground and fell through the outlet into Blonde Creek. We know that water that flows into storm drains doesn't get filtered. So anything that's on the land that's pollution can get washed into our storm drains and go straight into our creeks. This is also why pervious cover is so important to have in our watersheds because the soil and the plants filter out some of these pollutants before going into our creeks.